I've got two daughters, and you know they they, they both have a you know sort of an odd thing about learning Java, um, and you know it's hard to know what to say to a student because there's you know when when the students are coming into Java or any kind of programming they're often not exactly sure why am I doing this right and you know one of the things about about software is that it's t tied into so much of what we do in modern society you know, it is hard to find anything that you can touch that doesn't have a computer in it, around it, controlling it, or whatever. Um, and, you know, a lot of it, you know, people look at as magic. You know, it's, it's, it's sort of Isaac Asimov's line that, you know, uh, any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. And one of the things that I love about software is that it's a lot of little things. And you sort of pile them up together, and you end up with these magnificent things. You know, so if you take something sort of as as detailed and sophisticated as as a cell phone, you know, if you try to understand a cell phone just in one big go, they're really hard. But you know, you start peeling the layers on the onions, and you can actually understand all of this stuff. You know, a lot of modern stuff, software people think of as being really, really intimidating. And so they don't even try. Um, and you know, the number one thing that the, the, the people going into software should should do is just you know don't be intimidated. Um, give it a try. You know, the most insanely complex things, once you've sort of peeled the onion a bit, are actually pretty simple. You know, all these complex things really are assemblages of pretty simple things. Um, and you know, any of you can understand any of it, no problem.